Word, son. What do you do, YouTube? It's your boy, Jada Vine. All right, man, before we get into this video, make sure to hit the like button, comment, subscribe. Share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, click the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload. Without further ado, let's get into it. All right, man, so of course you see I got the video looped up in the background, so we're going to talk about it as it plays. But ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to highlight a few things inside of this clip and just this clip alone. Now, first thing I will say is I really do like the whole idea of the person who fumbles the ball, when he finally does come to, he will jump over to grab the ball if he's in the vicinity, right? Now, I do appreciate that, but however, if you look at everybody else that's behind him, right? Or matter of fact, before we even get to them, let's look at the person who even knocked the ball out, right? Now, if we look at the person who knocked the ball out, now I understand that he is in the midst of him tumbling around after the tackle and, you know, he doesn't really see what's going on currently. Now, if you see ball, get ball, right? Now, of course, the whistle didn't blow and people can make the argument and say that, oh, well, he didn't know there was a fumble. He might've heard the whistle blow, all right? So you can make that argument, but let's just keep it at face value here, right? So as you can see, the ball pops out. Now, after he finally comes to, after, you know, tumbling around, he finally stands back up and he sees that, oh, the ball is out, right? By that time, the quarterback is already pretty much getting an idea as to where the ball is. Now, I would like to see the person that actually popped the ball loose actually try to start making efforts to getting the ball. Now, you look at everybody else that's behind them. Now, when the ball pops out, you see literally everybody just slowing down to like this slow job, right? Like, like nobody has any kind of, dare I say, urgence, urgency, I don't say urgency, but had no kind of urgency to say, oh, the ball is out, let's try to go run and go get it. Even if they're not in the area to go grab the ball, that still doesn't mean that you should just take your sweet time and like, oh no, he got that one. Like, no, if you see that there's a fumble, you are to go over there and try to go scrap for that ball. Now, like I said, again, people can make the argument and say, oh, well, what do you expect him to do? You expect him to run over there at hyper speed and go grab the ball, dirt, dirt, dirt. Okay, I get that. But like I said, let's keep it at face value here. If the ball is out, everybody's going to run to the ball. You know what I'm saying? Or at least the people who can see that the ball is out. Obviously, the people that are looking down at the line of scrimmage and see the quarterback down and the ball is out. They see that the ball is out, but however, you got them literally just slowing down to a jog, barely even trying to make the attempt to go get the ball just because they're not in the area. That is no way to play football. They don't teach you to be lack, lackadaisical like that. They don't teach you to do that in football. You are to play to the final whistle, the first whistle to the final whistle. You are to play hard every single play. You don't take plays off. There are players who don't take plays off. You play hard every single whistle from the first one to the last one. There's a reason to take plays off and all. No, you don't do that. You do not do that. It, trust me, if coach finds out you're doing that, trust and believe that you will probably not be starting next game or your time is going to get cut down. You are to play with intensity. Football is an intense game. You don't just take time and say, oh, well, I'm not going to play like this. I'm, I think I'm going to chill this time. No, you play with every thread of your being. That's what you do. But again, you know what I mean? I appreciate the fact that, you know, if you happen to get the ball poked out or if it happens to come out and you're in the vicinity, you go over there and jump back on the ball. You know what I mean? Because there has been other years in Madden where if the ball came out, it didn't matter if you were next to it or not. The guy wouldn't even come to and say, oh, the ball is out. Let me go grab it. Mm -mm. So I do like that. I do appreciate that. But however, when it comes down to everyone else that sees that it's a fumble and or hears that it's a fumble, I need to see more urgency. I need to see more aggressiveness out of the players that's around to recover the ball. That's where I need to see. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. I'm going to get up out of here. Make sure you hit the like button, comment, subscribe, share the word, spread the links, because you know how I do. But I'm going to get up out of here, man. It's your boy Jay Devine, and I'm signing out. Peace.